Gradually, fertility that had been leached from the soil is returning. This, in turn, affects the ability of the land to produce crops. And significantly, all the vegetation and the soil organic matter fixes carbon, helping to offset emissions of carbon dioxide, reducing human impact on climate change. The principles being demonstrated are being carefully studied and are informing policy and actions throughout China and beyond. And the benefits are not simply ecological. They're economic as well. New categories of products have emerged, including fruit trees, already a significant supplier to the large and growing domestic market. The growth trend suggests that the Lus Plateau will soon be a major global supplier. Greenhouses are extending the growing season, reducing water stress, and allowing increased vegetable production and income. Sedimentation storage dams are using the power of erosion to fill in the bottom of many gullies, creating flat fields suitable for grain and other annual crops. Sheep and goats have been a principal protein source and income generator on the plateau for generations. When free-ranging goats and sheep was banned, it was crucial to find an alternative. Pin feeding provided this and allowed increases in animal protein without the destructive consequences to vegetation cover and soil stability. Incomes on the plateau have steadily risen, and the expectations of the people have as well. Reversing many generations of decline, now on the Lis Plateau, the people don't think that their lives are just going to grow worse. They believe and are preparing for a better life. Chesne 下面人又行 这几年了，只把这么就是好了，都在数万块钱了。有项目来推动我们宁夏的整个是经济文化，还有这个环境的改变，这是我们的最大的理想，是我们宁夏这个经济发展呀，脱贫致富呀，奔向康这个步子更
they have the opportunity to build a better and more sustainable future. Back in Hojago, Liu Dongfu has seen life come full circle. The improvements have meant that Liu Deng Fu has been able to provide a more stable life for his family. Li Shofu's capacity for hard work has served him well. Every day he walks up the hill to his apple orchard. And there's a lot more food. Before the project, Zhang Fang lived below the poverty line. Her income was only 500 to 600 yuan per year. Zhang Fang has earned enough to build a new house with electricity and running water and to prepare for her new daughter-in-law's arrival.